So again, hello everybody. I am Vaishnavi Soundarajan. I am with the event management team. Um, and why am I going to talk about email marketing today? Well, uh, because uh, email marketing plays a very important or a significant role uh, in my day-to-day -day job. Because as much time as I spend uh, working on um, logistics uh, for uh, or the planning of the next events that we'll be doing, I spend equal amount of time planning the promotions. So um, in case if you have received any emails, um, promoting Zoholics or use the conferences or this seminar, for instance, um, you would have received it either from me or someone from our team. So um, I've been working on Zoho campaigns for um, almost four years now. So seen the changes and you know the updations that's been happening and um, so thank you for joining us uh, for the seminar today so uh, so we all know that there are multiple marketing channels right so um, almost eight to ten marketing channels that uh, we are using and uh, do you know what customers of today say out of all the marketing channels that are available uh, what is the most preferred one Anybody? OK, obviously, since we are talking about email, it is email. So um, uh, like we don't sit and dream about getting bombarded with emails like how she is doing. But of course, email is more preferred because it can be personalized. And at the same time, the recipe, recipient can respond to the email at their convenient time. So um, there was a study done by the Data and Marketing Association, and they found out that 73% of the consumers preferred email. So when people tell you that email is dying, no, it is not dying. It is only evolving because people like emails, and also the technology is improving. So all of us know about email marketing, right? Because we are recipients of emails. We get about hundreds of emails from different brands that we follow every week. So people generally assume that email marketing is something when emails go from one computer to multiple computers or one server to different servers, or, um, or they're associated to bulk emailing. Yes, technically it is right, but that is not all about it. So email marketing is much more than that. So there is, it is a very complicated process. You will have to plan what promotions that you're going to do. And you have to A-B test them. You have to come up with the contextual content and a very interesting and uh, um, uh, creative that is um, like, you know, very intuitive and people want to click on it. And there's so much more that goes into um, email marketing. So um, this is, uh, if you go deeper into the email marketing aspect, so this is how it has evolved in the past, let's say, easily 20 years. So email started as initially as something that goes from one person's email uh, inbox to another, sorry, from uh, one person's inbox to another one. So it was mostly one-on-one -on -one emails. Then it became bulk emails where we copy pasted the addresses into the two uh, bar or some smart people did it in the BCC or CC section, uh, part of the um, uh, email. And then it became contextual emails. And then we had automated emails. Automated emails were good because um, you could send um, set up some emails and you know automatically it would reach people's box but then again it lost the context because um, someone who had opened the email or already used the promotion would still get an, the same email it didn't make sense but now we are in the phase where we get uh, like you know uh, emails that are trigger based on workflows so based on the action of the respondent we trigger emails so uh, in this session I'm going to take an example of a food hub so why a food hub? Because one, obviously, they want to increase the sales and revenue. Second, they want to run periodic promotions. Say, for instance, as a chef special that is going on, they want to do a periodic promotion to their users. And third one being the growth of the customer base. The competition is huge in the food industry. So they want to do their, increase their customer base. So when you use email marketing, you can increase your ROI. You can do a targeted reach. Say, for instance, you want to reach only people who are interested in the Mexican food. You can send emails to them instead of bombarding people with, say, it's a multi-cuisine restaurant, right? So if you want to, you don't want to send emails to people who like 
uh, Indian food and have always had only Indian food email about a Mexican food. So it's something like that. So also create the brand awareness and then also to keep up with the technological innovations that are happening. Because if you are not up to date, you kind of lose out on the battle to the competitors. So what we have, we have identified four biggest challenges in the emails. The first one being not knowing where to start. So we'll be answering this one by one. And the second problem is being consistent and contextual. It is important to be consistent. You just don't come up with one campaign and then uh, get make some revenue out of it and forget about it. But it has to be consistent. And the emails that go out also has to be contextual. Third one is like, you know, more than 20% of the marketing emails um, don't make it to the inbox. So that is like, one in every five emails that is because it gets marked as spam so you'll have to know when to send the email and what kind of emails you'll have to send third is to have your emails speak to your other application so you will have to handle a very integrated approach so these are the solutions for these four problems so the advanced automation solves your problem of problem of not knowing where to begin and your personalization and interactivity uh, problem uh, solves the problem of uh, being consistent and contextual. And the email intelligence helps you with uh, sending the right email at the right time to the right set of people. And integrated approach, which helps you or you help your email talk to other applications that you use. So let's see how. So advanced automation. So when we say the word advanced automation it does not mean that the process of automating is advanced but the automation process is advanced uh, but anyone can easily do it because it's just drag and drop so in advanced automation you'll be able to micro target and also send periodic emails it is crm friendly so you will be able to create tasks or whatever um, uh, responses that you want in crm based on the email the responses that you've received in the campaigns and then create focus actions and flexible and multiple level reporting. The reporting is also very uh, intuitive. You can you can get a lot of information out of it. So um, in this this is a product screen where you can see that uh, we already have some pre-built templates of um, workflows. So um, simple follow up workflows or basic welcome series. You can just pick any of these workflows and start using them or build your own workflow by dragging and dropping. I will take you through uh, the product. I'm just going to share my uh, product uh, screen now to show you um, how you can find the um, workflows. Just give me a second. Are you able to see the screen now? Yes. OK. So if you see, um, this is a product screen. So you will be able to um, create workflows. If you go into create workflow, you can see all the pre-built templates. So the nurture series, your welcome and onboarding. So you can select what you want. Let's say we pick up this uh, basic welcome series. And uh, you see on form submission, when um, they fill in the contact form or whatever form that you embedded in your website, it gets pushed to and um, into the in, into the list. So you send out an email to them, and based on the response, so if they automatically add them to a list, or if they are unresponsive, you wait for an hour and send out a different email, telling like you know we already sent you an email. Looks like you missed the email. Do you want to you make use of our uh, like you know we welcome you and this is how you use your our product or anything as such. And then if it's still unresponsive, maybe assign a task and close it. So you will be able to uh, create uh, workflows like this. You don't, it doesn't mean you'll have to use this one. And you just have to click activate and activate the set. So I'm stopping the screen sharing now and going back to the presentation deck. Just give me a second. You guys able to see my uh, deck, presentation deck? 
Hello, are you? Is the deck visible? Okay. So um, when you are creating workflows, you'll be able to target, uh, you know, micro target. Say in this case, um, people decide the, if th those who have selected uh, cheesy chalapas or uh, burrito bowls or the nachos can send you can send out a specific email to these people. Say this is a Mexican selection, right? So um, you don't want to send out an email uh, to uh, those who have never had a Mexican uh, food, uh, like you know, giving them a promotion. So you can target this and you can target based on the country. But since it's a food example, I'm not using the term country, but you can target based on anything that you want. Second. So I already showed you about the responses earlier, right? So when I was going through the uh, workflows in that, so you can create responses, you can create loops, reminder loops. So in case if it is unresponsive, you can send another email to them after three days things like that and uh, periodic or delays or responses same similar you can set up delays and responses um based on their responses you can set up like you know unresponsive for two days you wait for two days and then send out an email third and based on the response say for instance a person is clicked on a specific link you can create a task in crm and you can uh, in, in this case, say, for instance, they've clicked on the pro promo code or a specific link, but they have not utilized the promo code. Then maybe you can create a task and ask the salesperson to get in touch with them, telling that it looks like you were interested in it, but only you've not used um, the promotional code. So uh, focus actions. So you can add scores to let to, to know, you know, how uh, how how uh, how they are uh, like, you know, how hot they are. Then we have multiple, flexible, and multi-level reporting. So in reporting, you'll be able to see how many people entered the workflow and how many people exited the workflow and how many are in progress. And when you click on them, you'll know where they were and how did they exit. So it is very uh, detailed. OK, I'm just trying to broadcast it again. Is the screen visible? OK, thank you. Thank you. So um, we're going to be talking about personalization and interactivity. So this solves the problem of um, uh, sending out uh, customized um, emails that is to being consistent and contextual. So we have, there are, we call this as a magic trio, the sender name, the subject line, and the preheader. These are very important. And um, the next one is pre-designed templates. So Zoho Camping has a lot of pre-designed templates that you can pick from. Because uh, for a person like me, who has um, not a great knowledge on uh, design, um, like, you know, the pre-built templates are so easy to use. All I have to do is just change the images or change the uh, content and just go ahead and use it. And um, customization components like merge tags and um, dynamic content. So you can use merge tags. Uh, example, the name merge tag. So when an email goes out to a person and it says, hello, Andrew, um, come visit us. We have a 30% um, discount. It is more appealing. And the click rate is, the open rate is higher. So same goes for the dynamic content. So uh, when you use the dynamic content, uh, you can make sure that the contacts are getting the relevant content delivered to them. So they, it also allows you to personalize emails while creating one email for all your contacts. All right. So um, just check the chat box to see if everything is going fine. OK. So this is the create uh, email um, screen. So we've creating uh, we've created a campaign here. If you see, uh, look at this. So food festival 2019 invite. We're inviting people to that. So there is a folder. So what you can do is you can also organize all your emails based on the folder. Say for instance, you want to do something for um, it, it's supposed to say 2020, but um, 2019. I'm sorry. Uh, so you can create a folder here and say mention as food festival 2019 and add add all the email campaigns uh, into that folder. So um, the subject name, this is one of the most important um, trios. So in this, what you mentioned here is you can you can personalize it by adding the merge tags and um, sender name. So sender name is also important. Say an email saying that uh, Vaishnavi from Zoho is much more 
um, is, 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 is much more personal uh, than sending out an email that says even manager from Zoho. So same goes here, right? Sam from the food hub is more personal than saying just the food hub. So we'll talk about this reply tracking here, this toggle button that um, is um, switched on later. So this is how the email looks, right? So you can see the food hub. It's supposed to say Sam from food hub. Um, OK, and we have the um, email subject line and the pre header. I'm sorry, I forgot about the pre header. Pre header is also very important because it gives you a concise uh, information on what the content of the or the body of the email is going to be so this is how it looks on a laptop so you also check how it looks on a mobile so the center name the subject line and the pre header so when it is personalized the open rate or the click rate is higher so uh, generally what we do is we test it out in different uh, devices not just the mobile so we test it on android we test it on iphone windows machine mac and everything possible because like you know you're sending it to thousands of people and they use different devices so it should look fine on any system that they open it from so let's just take a minute uh to you know recall what we've done so the first thing is not to forget about the magic trio which is the name of the sender uh the subject and the um the pre header third is emojis in case if you're going to use emojis it should make sense and when you read it aloud it should make sense because these days people are using alexa to read out emails for them so it shouldn't sound stupid so the content that you're sending should be precise and on point um and um, test so testing this is the most important thing you have to test test and test to make sure that uh, you're sending out the right emails um, and it is compatible with all devices and um, just because someone else here, you know, uh, is doing something that doesn't mean you'll have to do the same thing because their audience is not your audience. I'm just going to go to the chat to see if everything is fine. Are you guys able to see the screen? Just checking because there's someone saying that it, the screen is blank for them. OK. Cool. So these are some of the pre-built templates that uh, we have, very colorful and um, easy to use one. All you have to do is just go and edit uh, the content. So this is how the merge tags look. So the merge tags that I was talking about earlier, right? So you can um, use the merge tag. So it would address the name of the person. So it is more personalized. And you can use emoji polls. Uh, to get a feedback on uh, what you what they think about it and opt out. So opt out is also very important in Zoho. Um, all the emails that go out with go out has an opt out option because um, people not everybody is interested in all the emails that you send, right? So you should always give them an option to unsubscribe out of the mailing list. So um, and it is also because it is GDPR compliant and we should not violate the privacy of our recipients. So third thing is email intelligence. So email intelligence solves the problem of when to send the emails and what sort of emails we have to send. So uh, um, in the whole campaigns, you'll be able to manage the send. You'll be able to optimize the send time. You'll be able to send it in batches. And you'll be able to track the replies and also maintain a policy of how many emails can be sent to a contact at any given period of time. So send time optimization. So um, not everybody opens their emails at the same time, right? So if I want to send out an email to someone, to the recipients in Dubai, for instance, um, I can I can choose 11 a.m. Dubai time and blast one email. But the problem is people open emails at different times. So the send time optimization helps you uh, with an option, gives you an option of sending out an email where it reaches your mailbox at the optimized time which they open their emails. So based on their previous open. So if you look at this, the recipient's optimal open time. So we have the, in the bottom screen, you'll be able to see the time zones and you know how many recipients opened at what time. So based on this, go, it will go out. And for people that who have are new to your mailing list, it will go out at the time that you set the opt, um, what is this, uh, the email to go. Say for in this case, 
it will go out at 11 9 am 9 am uh, gmt so sending in batches so sending emails in batches is also very important uh, because uh, say for instance you're sending out email to 10000 people at the same time and you are actually driving them back to your website to avail a promotion so you don't want like about 2000 to 2500 people coming into your website at the same time so to control the website traffic you can send out emails in batches so that is possible so the third one is the reply reply tracking so initially when i showed you a screen where we had actually toggled and switched on the reply tracking right so when you uh, the switch is on you will be able to track the replies so how do you track the reply so um so what what we will do is the email the replies will be stored and while allowing you to choose the choose to auto forward the replies to a particular email address or you can also forward the replies to a single address or the email to uh, or email is email mapped to the crm owner so this this comes very handy uh, this feature comes very handy the next one is the email policy so you can set up an email policy um by making sure that uh, we don't send too many emails and for of course eight emails is also too much in any given time so um weekly email limit of so in this we've i've set up an email uh, limit of uh, weekly email limit of two emails per week monthly eight emails and intervals between emails is four days so when you set this up you will the email will not a more than eight emails will not go and this kind of gives you a control on the number of emails you send to your contacts so the next one is uh, the integrated approach where your um, emails talk to your other applications so it should be easy to sync and um, there are zoho campaigns comes with integration of a lot of platforms not just uh, um, uh, zoho applications but also with um, uh, third party applications and then we have e-commerce email marketing bundle as well so if you look at this uh, so campaigns has integration with box creator survey meeting forms and also with g suite zapier twitter salesforce hubspot so um just the last uh, piece before we finish this session so it is important email marketing in email marketing it is important that we do a responsible marketing so um at zoho we are gdpr compliant and we also are compliant with the india data protection 2019 act and personal data protection and canadian anti spam legislation so let's just take a minute to on reflection these are all just gyans you know telling you what you can and what you can't do based out of the experience uh, that we've had one is bring in empathy into the emails and given the current situation that is very important and second thing is don't buy per, per, don't purchase lists and data because most of the people uh, in the list and data that you purchase are not relevant users third you should collect and organize only necessary information of your customers and uh, say no to sending negative emails and uh, find your viable audience and messaging and the most important thing is test things out before you send out the emails because you send out emails in bulk and you don't want to regret sending an email where the link is not working or the promotion code is not working so test it out before sending test test and test before you send it out so that's it from me thank you